Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about Milne's predictor corrected method. This is the last topic under this unit 4. The first one is Milne's predictor corrected method. Under this predictor and corrected method we have two result. The first result is Milne's predictor corrected method. Consider the first order differential equation dy by dx equal to f of x comma y with y of x naught equal to y naught. The step size for x is h, x0, x1, x2, x3, x4 or any 5 consecutive values of x then y n plus 1 comma p equal to y n minus 3 plus 4 into h by 3 2 y n minus 2 dash minus y n minus 1 dash plus 2 y n dash. This is called Milne's predictor formula. The subscript the subscript P indicates that it is a predictor value. It is used to predict Y4 when Y1, Y2, Y3 are known. To get corrected value Y n plus 1 comma C equal to Y n minus 1 plus H by 3 Y n minus 1 dash plus 4 Y n dash plus Y n plus 1 dash. This is known as Milne's corrector formula where C indicates the corrector value. So, the important topic under the fourth unit is predictor and corrector method. The first one is Milne's predictor and corrector. By the word predictor and corrector itself we can understand the topic. We are going to predict a value of a given differential equation and then we are going to get the more accurate value that is called corrected value. So, for predictor is indicated by the letter P and the corrected value indicated by the letter C. When you are using the Milne's predictor and corrected method we should have the four consecutive values then only we can go for the next value ok. So, the predictor formula y n plus 1 comma p and the corrector formula is denoted by y n plus 1 comma c p indicates for predictor and c indicates for corrector ok. Look at the first problem given dy by dx equal to 1 by x plus y such that y of 0 equal to 2, y of 0 0.2 equal to 2.09, y of 0 0.4 equal to 2.17, y of 0 0.6 equal to 2.24. Find y of 0 0.8 by Milne's predictor and corrector method. So, the differential equation is given and y of 0, y of 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6 values are given. Find y of 0 0.8. From this values only, we can find h ok. So, differential equation is given and the initial values are given using these values only we are going to find the next value of y ok. So, we are going to first predict the value and we are going to get the corrected value. This is called predictor and corrector method. First result we are going to predict what is the result for the given differential equation. When you are correcting the result we can get the accuracy value. This is called predictor and corrector method. Now for the solution first we will write the given data. What is given in the question? Look at this y of 0 equal to 2. It is very well known result that is y of x naught equal to y naught the whole unit we are discussing this about y of x naught equal to y naught. So, from the given obviously y of 0 equal to 2 this means what x naught is 0 ok and y naught is 2 ok. So, the given data given x naught is 0 and y naught is 2. Is it clear how we are writing? y of x naught equal to y naught. So, based on this x naught is 0 y naught is 2 and the next one next result y of 0 0.2 equal to 2.09 that means what y of x1 equal to y1. So, this is our x1 and this is our y1 ok. So, x1 equal to 0 0.2 and this is our x2 x2 equal to 2.17 and this is our x3 x3 equal to 0 0.2 0 0.4 and this is our 0 0.6 x0, x1, x2, x3, x0, x1, x2, x2 is 0 0.4 and x3 is 0 0.6 corresponding values of y, y0, y1, y2, y3. So, our y1 
y1 equal to 2.09 and y2 equal to 2.17 and y3 equal to 2.24 ok from the given data. Now what is the question? Question is find y of 0 0.8 that means we are going to find what is our y4 this is what the question. From the x data look at x0, x1, x2, x3 we are supposed to find y4 from the x data x0, x1, x2, x3 look at this x0 is 0 x1 0 0.2, x2 is 0 0.4 and x3 is 0 0.6, x3 minus x2 0.2, x2 minus x1 0.2, x1 minus x0 0.2. So, obviously our h is, what is our h? h is equal to 0 0.2, h is nothing but difference between the x value. So, h is the step size of the x data, you can say all that. So, now first we are going to predict the value. So, now Milne's predictor formula. Milne's predictor. Milne's predictor formula is see whenever you are using a result we are supposed to write the result. For the result we are getting a mark. So, y n plus 1 comma p equal to y n minus 3 plus 4 h by 3 into 2 y n minus 2 dash minus y n minus 1 dash plus 2 y n dash. So, this is the predictor formula. Now, we are supposed to find the value of y 4 is not it. So, we are supposed to put n is equal to 3 in this result. So, that only we can get y 4 is not it. So, put n equal to 3 is it clear why we are substituting n equal to 3. So, that only we can get y 4. So, n plus 1. So, 4, 3 plus 1 4 y 4 comma p the fourth value only we are predicting ok and substituting n equal 3 here 3 minus 3 y naught plus 4 h by 3 2 y n minus 2 3 minus 2 y 1 dash minus 3 minus 1 2 so y 2 dash plus n equal to 3 so 2 y 3 dash. So, this is the result reduced to n equal to 3. Now, look at the given one. What is our given differential equation? Given dy by given dy by dx equal to what is given in the question 1 by x plus y. We know very well that dy by dx is nothing but what? dy by dx always dy by dx is nothing but that is y dash y dash equal to 1 by x plus y ok. Now, look at our predicted result in this one we are supposed to find y 1 dash y 2 dash y 3 dash then only we can find predict the y 4 ok. So, y dash means here we are getting x plus y. So, y 1 dash means x 1 y 1 y 2 dash means x 2 y 2 like that only we are going to find the value for y 1 dash y 2 dash y 3 dash ok. So, y dash equal to 1 by x plus y. Now, we are going to find y 1 dash. So, y 1 dash equal to from this only we are writing ok 1 by x 1 plus y 1 that is 1 by what is our x 1? x 1 is 0 0.2 and y 1 is 2.09. So, y 1 dash equal to 0 0.2. 4, 3, double 6, ok. Same manner we are going to find y2 dash, y2 dash equal to 1 by x2 plus y2, ok. So, 1 by x2 value is 0 0.4 plus y2, y2 value is 2.17. So, using calculator we can get the y2 dash answer is 0 0.3891. Same manner y3 dash, y3 dash equal to 1 by x 3 plus y 3. x 3 answer is 1 by 0 0.6 plus y 3, y 3 value is 2.24, 2.24. So, using calculator we can get the y 3, y 3 dash answer is 0 0.3521.
So now we look at the formula of predictor. Look at this y1 dash, y2 dash, y3 dash. All the values we got it. So now we can substitute the values in the predictor result. We can get the y4 comma p answer. Okay. So substituting the values in the formula, we can get y4 comma p equal to. Therefore, y4 comma p equal to y0 plus 4h by 3 into 2y1 dash minus y2 dash plus 2y3 dash. So substituting all the values y0 answer is 2 plus 4 into h is 0 0.2 by 3 into 2y1 dash y1 dash is 0 0.4366 minus y2 dash y2 dash is 0 0.3891 plus 2 into y3 dash y3 dash is 0 0.3 3, 5, 2, 1. So, using calculator, our predictor answer is 2.31688. So, this is our predictor answer for y4. Now, the same y4, we are going to correct the answer. Okay, that is called the corrector formula. So, by Milne's corrector formula, by Milne's corrector formula, So, what is the Milne's corrector formula? Y n plus 1 comma c. Correct c denotes the character. Y n minus 1 plus h by 3 y n minus 1 dash plus 4 y n dash plus y n plus 1 dash. Here also we have to put n is equal to 3. So, put n is equal to 3 y 4 comma c. Okay. 3 minus 1 that is y2 plus h by 3 3 minus 1 that is 2 so y2 dash plus 4 n equal to 3 y3 dash plus n plus 1 so 3 plus 1 that is y4 dash so in this one also we know the value for y2 h y2 dash and y3 dash only thing we should find the value for y4 dash okay so now y4 dash equal to 1 by x4 plus y4 okay so substituting the x4 and y4 we can get the y4 is 0 0.8 plus sorry x4 is 0 0.8 y4 is 2.31688 how we are writing this y4 this is our predictor answer y4 is nothing but what y4 comma p just now we got no this result that is 2.31688 that value only here we are substituting ok. So, using calculator we can get y4 dash answer is 0 0.32083. So, this is our y4 dash. Now, we will back to character result therefore, y4 comma c equal to ok y4 comma c equal to y2 y2 value is 2.17 plus h answer is 0 0.2 by 3 ok into y2 dash y2 dash value is 0 0.3891 plus 4 into 4 into y3 dash 4 into y3 dash is 0 0.3521 ok plus y4 dash just now we got y4 dash 0 0.32083 this is our y4 dash so using calculator our y4 comma c answer is 2.3112 this is our character result ok now look at this y4 comma p answer is 2.31688 and character answer is 2.3112 very mild variation only instead of uh, predictor and character we have an example for this that is instead of Milne's method, we can discuss about Euler's method also. When you are doing a problem under Euler's method, we are solving a differential equation. When you are applying the modified Euler's method, we are getting more accurate value. So, when you are using the Euler's method, we can say that that is a predictor. When you are using the modified Euler's, we can say that is a corrector method. That is the best example for predictor and corrector. Okay, Euler's result is a predictor result and a modified Euler's result is a corrected result. When you are using modified Euler's method, because to get the 
more accurate value we are using the modified Euler's method isn't it so this is the procedure under Milne's predictor and corrected method so how to do the problem under Milne's method all the uh, beginning values of the data will be given in the question itself in some of the question papers or some of the questions instead of giving the beginning value of y or x it may be given in the question find the beginning value of x naught y naught like that by using Taylor's method or RK method like that also question paper may come okay Milne's predictor and corrector method will comes under 8 mark question if suppose the beginning values are not given in the question that will be find by Euler's method or Taylor's method or RK method it will be mentioned in the question paper according to the question we are supposed to find the beginning value of the data then only we can go for the Milne's predictor and corrector method if it is comes like that that question will comes under 16 mark only okay so after find out the given data after writing all the beginning value of the given data we will substitute the predictor value the predictor value and the corrector value may be very little bit difference only okay so for using the predictor and corrector we should know all the beginning value of the data okay so this is the procedure under Milne's predictor and corrector method okay thank you for watching